I'm Rob Kelly. I'm a three-time CEO. I like to talk about how I've started companies, I've bought companies, and I've bankrupted companies in my career. And so I think I've got it all, and hopefully I've got something to share with you today. I'm currently CEO of OnGig.com, and we're reinventing hiring. So business ideas. Everybody yeah. we know, you know, or I would say most of the people I know say if they could do anything, they'd want to work for their own business and then travel four days a week and this and that. It's an awesome world. It's great and it's possible. But what separates the people who are able to do this versus the, the entrepreneurs, the people who talk sure. about it for 20 years but never do it? I like that. Yeah. I'm going to use that one. So, you know, we've all, we all hang out at brunch or lunch or dinner or just hanging out at some party and you hear someone say, what if? You know, how about this idea? For it? So I'm going to give my sister, I hope she doesn't watch this, my older sister Diane, and she claims to have thought of the concept of bottled water. Okay. Okay. She should be a yeah. million, billionaire. Now, now, I only heard the story after, <laughs> right, <laughs> after bottled water became pretty successful. And she, you know, she, but years ago she said, you know, I thought of that idea, right? So we all know folks, we have family and friends who say, boy, what if we did this? How about this idea? Mm. Even back before the bottled water became the big business or idea. So we all know those folks. And I think the question is, how do you take that idea and turn it into a reality, right? Yeah. Step one, you got to pick your passion, the idea, right? Highly recommend that it's something you're passionate about. Talent okay. Code, another okay. great book. We're talking okay. about cool books here. They talk about having the need for ignition to get your talent you know, to, to a mastery level. It has to have some sort of ignition, like motivator, driving it. Can't just be anything. If you ask me to, uh, to become the world's best knitter, I just, there's no ignition. I didn't have a grandma who was magically knitting stuff who got me all fired up yeah. about it. So you have to have some sort of form of ignition. Warren Buffett, we talked about him already. He's going to keep coming up. These are all the masters, right? Mm -hmm. The other masters. Mm -hmm. um, you called me a master earlier, but now these are the aged elder masters. Right. And so Buffett says, draw a circle of competence, right? Uh, what are your competencies? What are you either super great at or really enjoy? Yep. Usually they go hand in hand. It's rare to find someone who's really awesome at something mm. but says, man, I hate doing that. Yeah. I just don't like doing it. Maybe they don't like doing a certain type of it, but usually if you're really good at it, baseball, you're really good at networking, you're really good at knitting, yeah. you know, you usually like it. You like it a lot. It makes you feel good. Step two is what I call deposited into the universe. You know, you're hearing how I'm pretty into karma and stuff here, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, deposit your content about the topic into the universe. So that could be a blog, a book. Just talking to your friends. Anything. It's, Anything. It starts with talking about it. Could be in your little moleskin journal. Yep. Of course, these days we have the benefit of having blogs. So, yep. as you mentioned, start writing it in a blog. Another thing is we've got Twitter, we've got Facebook, we've got LinkedIn, your status. I mean, you can just type these things very easily yep. and you're putting them out into the universe. Now, you might say, like, well, who cares? You know, who's going to listen or who cares about that? Well, there are people out there. You know, the hundreds of millions on all these networks, for instance, are on the internet, and they are in need of information. Yeah. And if you've got something that relates to step one, your passion, something you know about and you're pretty good at, people are going to be interested in that. They're going to find it. They're going to Google it and see you. So deposit your content out into the universe. Okay. Biggest mistake people make, they have the idea. Bottled water, my yeah. sister, right? Biggest mistake. They keep it secret. Oh, yeah. Don't want someone to steal my idea. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. tell anyone. If you don't tell anyone, you know, unless you're doing a one man, one woman business, yeah. then nothing's going to happen, right? right. You got to start getting it out there. And so that's one big mistake. Another one is they just don't take any action on it. So mm. keep it secrets horrible. That'll kill it immediately. But just taking no action, you know, letting it fly by. I mean, it's not going to do anything on its own. I basically came out with 60 ideas before I decided to go with OnGig. Interesting. And I ranked them, and they moved all over the place. Oh, and by the way, all those ideas, they went from dozens. They weren't all mine. A lot of, some people came to me. I had the blog, right? Some people yeah. wrote me business ideas that were awesome. Yeah. And they didn't know what to do with it, but good for them. They wrote me, this one guy in the middle of the country wrote me about a social media idea, super cool with commerce. He wrote to me, he said, Rob, I know I'm not going to do anything with it. Can you run with it? Interesting.